Hi, how are you going? I found this cool widget for TK Inter, which basically puts like a spreadsheet inside of the Python GUI. Like interactive. It's pretty cool. Let's let's check it out. Here is a super basic version. It's interactive too, so I'm gonna pop some values in here. Not only that, look, you can select rows, you can select multiple rows. You can right click on the column header and sort and add new columns. New column. Got a new column. And and hold on, just hold your horses. If you right click, you can do all these things. It has all these options put into it. So add rows, delete rows, filter records. So you got your, your options are filtering here for the records themselves. You can load data and save data and export as a CSV. And you can also plot things which I haven't played with too much. It's like a almost full-fledged spreadsheet like that this guy has made. So I didn't make it. I found it. I'm excited about it. I wanted to share it. Let's have a look. Okay, so Damien Farrell is the creator of this awesome project. Well done, Damien. It is like on the older side, but it, it looks like it was updated eight months ago. So it still works with Python 3, but this is the GitHub. So I will put a link to it in the description. It's called TK Inter Table, a pure Python library for adding tables to a TK Inter application. So rather than the tree view and, and all that sort of fiddling around, you can just get a, like a, an actual s table spreadsheet into your application. Not only that, but you can feed data into it from the, the back end, but the, you, you can also do it from the user interface, which is always good. He has fantastic documentation on using it as well. You can just pip install TK Inter Table. However, the wiki, let's check out the wiki. I'm just going to get myself out of the way here for a second because they're not worried about me. It's a... I love excellent documentation. That gets me excited. Okay, goodbye. Um, then here's the documentation. How to create the table. Constructor, constructor options. How to update the table. Getting data into the table. You can import a CSV file into the table or anything from a Python dictionary. Or you can import from a text file, sorting the table, adding rows and columns, selecting like it is it has a lot of features. It has a lot of features. It is really cool. And here's some screenshots too, actually. Let me blow them up a little bit so we can see. You can have multiple tables in one frame. Like the ideas that we could build, like the things you could build with it. And it's not, you don't have to write. 1200 lines of code just to try to get something that resembles a spreadsheet like that's what this does it's really cool it's it's really um i'm really excited i found it so i just thought i would share it with you good people damien farrell tk into table i will put a link to it go and give him some love on github damien also did a video quick walkthrough um on his youtube channel 2013 but he, he still kept it up to date so it's really good go and check it out Damien has also done another project with pandas and tables. I'm going to do that in the next video just to share it out there. Not affiliated with any of Damien's work. I just think it's pretty cool and, and I like to share these cool things because TK Inter is really cool and then you add these, this stuff on top of it which is beyond my ability to make. Fantastic. It gets the brain juices going of what is really possible. So enjoy and happy building.